What's up, KC gang? Oh, shoot. Guys, I just want y'all to know I'm actually going to do my hair. Um, I was going to do it tonight, but stuff happened and I didn't do it. But I did pick up my house a little bit. Because, like, okay, no matter what, every day my house gets dirty. And I'm the only one that lives here. Every day my house gets dirty. So y'all comment down below if y'all live the same way. <laughs> and not live the same way. I'm not saying that I live dirty. It's just because I get so much out just to do, I don't know, like certain things I do, I guess. Um, like, get in. Like, if I get a snack out, I'll leave the trash. If I eat something, I'll leave the ball on my table all day. And then at night, I'll probably pick it up. Guys, it is... I know y'all see my armpit, but it's okay. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. What can I say? I went to sleep, like, at 6 o'clock. I woke up at midnight. And, yeah, I'm probably going to go to sleep after... I record these few videos. Anyways, guys, this is going to be a story time of my very first job. And <clears throat> me getting fired for my very first job and the reasons why I got fired. Da -da -da. Anywho, before I get into this, um, no, I'm into it, me. Uh, before I got the job, my cousin, she was working there. And she was like, okay, so let me start a little quick. Um, my very first job was at Sonic. Um, hopefully everybody knows what that is. It's just a fast food restaurant. I don't know if it's all over the world or all over the states or not. Couldn't tell you. But it was Sonic. And, uh, it was super easy. But anyways, my cousin, she had already been working there for almost like a year and a half or something. Anyways, me and her like looked really similar. I'll just say that now. And, um, I had been looking for a job for, like, a few weeks. Maybe not a few weeks. I think it was actually, I don't know how many applications I put into other places. But it only took, I think I put, like, an application in on Thursday. No, on Tuesday, I put an application in. On Thursday, I had an interview. And then the next Tuesday, I was starting. Anyway, she called me for an interview. And she's like, can you come up here right now? And I'm like well, you know, I went to school today, I wasn't dressed my best, uh, I just don't have, like, the outfit, I need. she's like, I'm not worried about that, I just need you to come up here and do this interview, da, da, da. but she worked with my sister and my brother, I think that's the only one, okay, but she's, like, worked with my family, my family, some of my family members still work there, but, um, she's like, just come up here, okay, da, 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 I was like, all right, and I went up there, my interview was, like, five minutes, like super quick and she gave me a stack of a stack of papers to fill out I filled them out gave them back to her and she's like okay can you start Tuesday I was like yeah she's like okay we'll come in here real quick she's like what size shirt do you wear da -da -da. she hands me the shirt um anyways so that Tuesday I went to work okay always this is my very first actual job like I worked with my dad he has like a farm or whatever and I worked with him so I was like oh it's gonna be a breeze let me tell you, they had me cleaning windows, taking trash out. Okay. When my brother worked there, the guys took out the trash. I'm not saying girls should be, should not have to take out the trash, but I'm just saying, baby, that trash would spill on me and it just stunk. And I just, and I hate when it was raining because we still had to take the trash out. I'd be soaking wet. Like, no, and then the trash would be full of water. People were so disrespectful. Uh, everybody's always talking about good tips. Girl, where? Where's some good tips? Because, baby, I need to know. Uh, this one girl, she was like, yeah, I used to make $200 a night. How? Since she must have been doing something on the side from them, for them. Because she wasn't just making no tips. Because my cousin, she had been working there already a year. And she had, look, I knew everybody in town. But she had already made... She hadn't even made that many tips, and she probably knew more people than you, sis. So how are you making $200 a night? But also, no cap, hope she ain't watching. 
And if anybody is watching that knows how I'm about to talk about, she always had her pants up her ass. Like, sis, you ain't got a butt, but why you got your pants so tied up your butt crack? Like, come on, sis. And everybody used to be talking about her at school. But anyways, uh, I started working or whatever. It was, like, super easy. I think I earned, like, $20 in my first hour within tips because it was, like, my first day or whatever. And... Yeah, I think within like a week or two, or like maybe three days, I was already on the headset and I was already typing in orders by myself. Um, I liked that job. The checks were trash. No cap. I got, okay, so when you're a waitress, you're supposed to make like $2.15 or something. I have no idea. But because I was cross-trained, like we were all cross-trained, like we'd make food, make drinks, uh, take orders makeup like put all the food in the bags and stuff I was making 750 plus tips you know so I mean that wasn't too bad but it's still I really didn't like working I still don't like working but now I work because my job now them checks is okay anyways it wasn't when I first started working it wasn't too bad but Around the time that I got fired, like, okay, so I'm just going to skip. None of, the, none of the middle stuff's important. Around the time that I was close to, like, where I got close to getting fired or whatever, um, I started really, really calling into work all the time. I didn't want to be there. I hated that job. The floor always hurt my feet. Uh, I felt like the manager was racist. Uh, people were rude for no reason. Like, calm down. I could never get my nails done. Like, what was the point of having a job if I couldn't spend... But let me tell you, I always had money. <laughs> From them tips, like, my cousins can tell you I always had money going to school. I would hand them money all the time. Sometimes I wish I didn't, but I did hand them money all the time. For, like, stuff at school. Nothing big, like, st uh, snacks and stuff, because we had a snack bar. But... Blending. Anyways, as I mentioned at the beginning of the story that me and my cousin looks like, well, um, one night I had this man come in with his wife and a, I don't know if it was like their other daughter or whatever, but it wasn't the daughter that he was talking about. Anyways, uh, he was like, how come you don't talk to so-and-so, whatever her name was? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, sir. I don't know who that is. And he was like, guess you do. You was just at our house. I was like, no, sir. That's not me. And he's like, he calls me her name, my cousin's name. And I'm like, that's not me. I'm so-and-so, you know, I'm Dekayla. And he's like, well, uh, he's like, no, you're not. You were just at our house. I know who you are. You can't, like, fake it and pretend who, like, Da, 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 da. And he starts screaming at me like, why were you mean to her? Why won't you talk to her? Da, da, da. Okay, first of all, sir, why are you pushing for your daughter to have friends? Second of all, like I said, that wasn't me. And then third of all, I told him, I said, no, you probably got me mixed up with my cousin. That's not me. She up in there. And then uh, as soon as I said that, she was walking out taking orders. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Da, 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 da. And I was like, exactly, exactly. That's what you get for being rude, right there. Okay. I can't remember if it was that same night or if it was, like, the next night. But anyways, when I got fired. Or, like, if it was the same night that all this happened. I can't remember. But, let me tell y'all, when I got fired, this the, is this the part right here. So, I had been taking out orders all day. And, it was, like... It was like almost dark. It wasn't dark just yet, I remember. And uh, that night I spilled two drinks on two different people, but only one was a customer and one was my friend. Uh, anyways, so we. Hold up, hold up, it's gonna go to me. Anyways, I was like taking out her order. She had like six drinks or like four drinks or something. And what's it called? She had gotten some food, and I was, like, trying to hand her her drinks or whatever. She asked for a, like, the drink holder things, and I was like, okay, you know, I'm 
like I was I had been working there for like a few months I was handing it to her like this I said okay well after I give all you this I'll bring it back to you okay well she started screaming she's like I want it now da, da, da. and I'm like okay I'll go get it let me just hand you the rest of your food and so the little black strip on the like say your windows like right here and the little black strips are on the side of it okay so I was handing one of the drinks in and it touched that black strip and I'm looking down at the receipt reading off everything that I'm making sure that she gets and when it touched the black thing I thought she grabbed it and she didn't and I let the drink go and it like spilled in her car let me tell you this woman was heated but she was calling me bitches and hoes and this is why I don't fuck with y'all every time I've been up here you've been rude to me da, da, da. I said hold up cause I don't even know who you are I've never even brought you food and like I said I, I was like, I, what did I tell her? I said, I think you got me mixed up with my cousin. Because, first of all, when I got fired, let me just tell you, let me skip to this. My manager was like, I've gotten so many complaints and you da 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 First of all, before you, bef I have to get three complaints before I get fired. And I have to sign saying that I know I had a complaint. First of all, you never told me I had a complaint. Second of all, I never signed any of those. So that leads me to the reason why I think she was racist. She just didn't want me working there. My brother worked there forever. And then, like, they would talk the most about my brother. I'm like, bro, he worked every day and he was a football star. Bro, don't even come with that. And my sister, she worked there, you know. Anyways, and the woman just kept on yelling at me while her husband in the car was like, it's not even that serious. Calm down. You don't even got to call her out on her name like that. After all this happened, my brother was so mad because, you know, he had worked there four years, his whole high school career. And he was, like, disappointed. You know, they was talking about suing him and stuff because of the way they had fired me. You know, it was just a big mess. Anyways, so after I spilled it on her, I went inside to get some towel, paper towels. Before, I, Okay, so customers aren't allowed to come into the Sonic building. Anyways, before I could even get inside to get her some napkins... She's like already ran inside and she's like, this is the one, she spilled her drink on me intentionally. Da, da, da. She's been rude to me. First of all, I ain't going to spill my drink on you. I would have threw it at your face. Second of all, I'm not going to lose my job over you, which I did for you lying on me. Third of all, sis, calm down because it's not even as serious. It's, you're wet from a drink. You can dry off. You was acting way too irate. Like, hold up, sis. You need to calm down because this ain't it. I don't know what the fuck you've been thinking, but it's I'm not the one. Anyways, after all that, my boss that night was like, do you want to work? Do you want to? She's like, I'm going to have to let you go. Do you want to? Do you want tonight to be your last night or do you want tomorrow? I told her tomorrow with the intention knowing that I wasn't coming into work. Like, I knew I wasn't going to work. Girl, you want to fire me over something this simple? No, ma'am. Peace. I'm out. But I told her I asked that I was working and I showed him. Anyways, guys. <laughs> this video was kind of heated, kind of not. I don't know. But... Y'all just let me know what y'all think. Got If y'all see these orange shirts on, you know, like... Okay, so my makeup video, my purple and makeup video... I don't think I had this shirt on, but, because I took a shower that night, but all the other orange videos, I'm wearing the same shirt because it's all the same day that I recorded all these. It's just the way I posted them because um, on Tuesdays, I'm going to restart my Talk Tuesday thing. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. And don't forget to leave suggestions suggestions down below that y'all want to see because it's quarantine time baby i could do anything well not anything but friday i am going to walmart to get some stuff to do for some videos so y'all just let me know what y'all want to see i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna try to get the acrylic nail thing because you know it's quarantine time baby i ain't got nothing else to do so yeah my mom may do them i don't know yet i don't know how long she's gonna be over here for um but yeah, guys, check it out. I love y'all so much. Look. Fuck you, bitch.
Alright guys, peace.